How's it going, everybody? Cody here. Here to give my thoughts on the Dallas Cowboys schedule that was released today on May 11th in the year of our football gods, 2023. And I posted a shorter video earlier. It was eight seconds long, and that has my predictions on who the Cowboys are going to beat and who they're going to lose to. So if you want to watch a shorter video, that's on the channel. But this one, I'm going to be going more in depth on my thoughts of how the games are going to play out. So that's what this video is going to be about. It's going to be more in-depth than just straight-up predictions. So starting off, we open the season against the New York Giants. As we have seven of the last 12 years, that's a stat I saw from Todd Archer. And one good thing the Cowboys have going for them is Dak Prescott has won 10 straight games against the Giants. And I believe that's going to continue. I don't know if Tony Pollard's going to be ready for this game. Just because, I mean, man, that's a brutal injury he's coming back from. They think he's going to be ready for week one. But I wouldn't be surprised if in this game we see a lot of Deuce Vaughn. And the Giants have a really good defense. But I think Dak Prescott is going to be more conservative this season instead of trying to force the ball because that's what got him in trouble a lot last year. So I think this year we're going to see Dak start out the season more conservative and then get more aggressive as the season progresses. So in this game, I think you'll expect to see a lot of dink and dunk underneath passes to tight ends and running backs and nothing really deep. So in this game, I am predicting a Cowboys W. And now this one pains me because it's Aaron Rodgers and I freaking hate him. But I think the Cowboys are going to lose week two against the Jets. Now, part of me had the back and forth thought of, man, it's going to take Aaron Rodgers a while to get acclimated with these new wide receivers. But what new wide receivers does he has? And they're basically the New York Packers. He's bringing in Alan Lazard, Randall Cobb. I think they got a tight end that used to be on the Packers. Yeah, they're the freaking New York Packers. So he's not going to have any chemistry issues starting off. So, and he owns. AT&T Stadium. It's not the city of Dallas or Jerry Jones. It's Aaron Rodgers that owns it. And it pains me to say, but I think the Cowboys are going to lose to the Jets. And the Cowboys have not beat the Jets in a long, long time. They lost to them in 2011. They lost to them in 2015. Lost to them in 2019. The Cowboys haven't beat the Jets in a long, long time. And I don't think that's going to change this year, unfortunately. Another team that's haunted us in the past, the Arizona Cardinals. At this point in the season, they're not going to have Kyler Murray. I don't know who their starting quarterback is going to be the first couple of weeks of the season, but without Kyler Murray being there, I think it spells Cowboys win in convincing fashion. New England Patriots, October 1st, week four. Game's going to be on Fox. Man, if it's anything like that last Cowboys-Patriots game, we're in for a treat. The one that had CeeDee Lamb catch the game winner at the end. If we have anything like that, this game is going to be freaking awesome. But we also don't know what's going on with the Patriots. They have a lot of questions at quarterback. Is Bill Belichick still committed to Mac Jones? I hear a lot of people saying Bailey Zappi's the guy. I feel like Zappi will have a first good couple of weeks if he ends up winning the starting job. But I think people will figure him out eventually. So I think this is going to be another Cowboys win. The Patriots always have a tough defense because Bill Belichick is a defensive genius. But the Cowboys have a lot of talent on that side. You know, you got Lamb, you got Gallup, you got Pollard. I think Deuce Vaughn's going to be a star. You got three decent tight ends. Now hopefully Jalen Tolbert can turn into something. And then you got Brandon Cooks on top of it. So I think the Cowboys have way more talent than the char or than the Patriots have good defensive players. And now week five, the second Sunday night football game of the season, it's going to be at, what the hell is the 49ers stadium? It's called Levi Stadium. I don't know. The name sucks. Candlestick was a way cooler name. But the team that's haunted us the last two years, the team that has ended the Cowboys season back-to-back -back years, I think the Cowboys are going to be highly emotional because it's them going against the scary red monster that's wearing a gold chain. And I think the Cowboys are going to play sloppy in this game. 
because the 49ers defense is so freaking good. And they stomp the Cowboys every time they play them. They dominate the line. They stop the run game. They smother the wide receivers. The Cowboys are going to get their ass kicked in this game, I'm predicting. And I'd hate to say that, but but I think the 49ers, they can run all over the Cowboys. Uh, If Brock Purdy's the starting quarterback, which I think he should be, because I think he should last year, that he's got more talent than Trey Lance, because... Even though we've only seen a short sample of Trey Lance, from what I've seen, I'm not that impressed by him. So if it's Brock Purdy, I feel like the 49ers' chances go way, way up. Week 6 against the L.A. Chargers, Monday Night Football, Joe Buck and Troy Aikman calling the game. That just feels right. Whenever they call games, it's amazing. I am predicting back-to-back losses for the Dallas Cowboys. And the only reason I'm saying this is I think this game is going to be a shootout. But I think Kellen Moore being fueled by playing against the team or coaching against the team that fired him. It's going to make him extra motivated. And Kellen Moore can draw up good plays. He just doesn't know how to script a game plan. And that was his problem in Dallas. But in this one, I think he's going to pull something out of his hat, and that's what's going to beat the Cowboys. Whether it's a trick play or Justin Herbert on like a rollout with a creative route going, I feel like he's got something up his sleeve that he's going to use to beat the Cowboys. You know he's got this game circled. Week 7, bye week. Eh, It's not the earliest bye week you can have, but it's still early. But, you know, I kind of prefer it just because, you know, you can get all the momentum going and then you have your bye week and then you don't recapture it so I don't mind it being this early if anything it gives you more incentive to try to get the number one seed so you can get that extra bye week the first week of the playoffs so not really complaining there week eight against the LA Rams the Rams suck they're rebuilding you know the Cowboys kicked their ass last year I feel like we're gonna have a repeat of the same game last year. Tony Pollard's going to have a great game. You know, Dak Prescott didn't get to play in the game against the Rams last year. I feel like he would be able to throw all over them now, now that Jalen Ramsey's gone. So, yeah, I think the Cowboys are going to kick the Rams' ass because they're rebuilding. They traded everything to get that Super Bowl, and now they're paying the price for it. Week 9 at the Eagles. I'm surprised this game wasn't on Sunday Night Football, but they played the Eagles later in the season on Sunday Night Football, so I guess I see it. But, hell, you could put both of these games late, and they're going to draw huge ratings. But going to be the first meeting of the season between the Cowboys and the Eagles. I predict the Eagles stomp the Cowboys in this game just because, historically speaking, the Cowboys really don't play that good at Philadelphia And maybe it's because that stadium smells like shit. I don't know what throws them off. But, yeah, the Cowboys, I think, are going to get their ass kicked in this game. And I don't know what else I can say, dude, other than I think they're going to get the shit kicked out of them. I think Jalen Hurts is going to run all over them. And then it's just going to be a classic Cowboys at Eagles game where it's going to be ugly, but it's going to be ugly if you get, get, excuse me, if you get my meaning. November 12th against the Giants. So this is going to be our second meeting of the season. You know how I said Dak is winning 11 straight? Make that 12 straight against the Giants. They're going to sweep the Giants. I have a lot of respect for Brian Dable. I like the Giants defense, but I have no respect for Daniel Jones. I don't have any respect for their receivers. I do for Saquon Barkley, but they their offense can't match the Cowboys defense. You can't be... Micah Parsons, Trayvon Diggs, Deron Blance, Stephon Gilmore, Leighton Van Der Esch, Marcus Lawrence, all these bad motherfuckers that are on the Cowboys defense, you got no shot against them with Danny Dimes. At the Panthers, that's going to be a win. Panthers, they're starting uh, Bryce Young. I feel like he's going to be good, but he's going to struggle. And against a ferocious defense like the Cowboys, he's going to have a rough day. That's a game I could easily see Micah Parsons getting two sacks. 
Thanksgiving against the Commanders, Cowboys in Washington. It just feels right on Thanksgiving. You're going to have Jim Nance and Tony Romo calling the game. I feel like of the daytime sports announcers, they are probably the most superior team. I like them over Mike Tirico and Chris Collinsworth, and I like them over Kevin Burkhardt and Greg Olson. Olson and Burkhardt are good, though. But I like that Jim Nance and Tony Romo are going to be calling this massacre because the Cowboys are going to kick the shit out of the Commanders. Now, this is a game I'm really looking forward to because I think this is going to be a shootout. I'm, And it's weird to say that because every Thursday night football game last year sucked. But I could easily see this game going 43-40, Cowboys on top of the Seahawks. And I do like the Seahawks a lot. I like Geno Smith. I like the comeback story he had last year. I think Pete Carroll is one of the greatest coaches ever. But they really don't have anybody in the run game that I have a lot of respect for. You know, they still got DK Metcalf, and Tyler Lockett's getting a little older, but he can still ball. Uh, But I don't think the Seahawks are going to capture lightning in a bottle twice like they did last year by making the playoffs. You know, I don't think they... They got a shot at the playoffs just because the only threat in their division is San Francisco, but I don't think they're going to be as good. I don't think Geno Smith is going to be as good. But in this game, I think he'll have a late season surge, and it's going to you know start giving Seahawks fans hope. But ultimately, I think Dallas wins, and like I said, I could easily see it being forty three forty. Sunday night football against the Eagles. Now, I know I mentioned in the past that the Eagles are going to beat the shit out of the Cowboys in Week 9. That is not going to be the case in Week 14. I am predicting the Cowboys win. Whenever the Cowboys play the Eagles on Sunday Night Football in Jerry World, they usually win. You think back to 2016 against Carson Wentz. It was the first time Wentz and Dak went against each other. Cowboys won that game. You think back to 2012, I call it the Morris Claiborne game. It's when Bryce Brown fumbled and Claiborne picked it up to return it for a touchdown and the Cowboys won. That was on Sunday Night Football. There's plenty of other meetings where the Cowboys and Eagles have played each other on Sunday night and the Cowboys have walked away victorious. The only thing I'm worried about is Jalen Hurts because I love Jalen Hurts. I think he is incredible and I respect him a lot. But I think it's going to be how it's been the last couple of years with the Cowboys and Eagles, and they're going to split this season series. Now, maybe they meet up later in the playoffs, and then we have the rubber match. At the Bills, week 15. Now, the Bills were my pick to win the Super Bowl last year. I was highly disappointed by them, but they still scare the ever-loving crap out of me, especially Josh Allen because he's a physical freak. We'll see if they still have Stefan Diggs, but even if they don't, they still got Greg, um, excuse me, Gabe Davis. I almost said Greg Davis. Gabe Davis, and they just picked up Dalton Kincaid in the draft, and then you got Dawson Knox. Hopefully their running game is going to be improved. Buffalo is one of those teams you really just don't want to meet, especially late in the season like that. Like that they could really make you lose some confidence. And that's why I'm predicting a Cowboys loss, just because the Cowboys defense really isn't going to face anyone like Josh Allen. He is just so physically big and strong and fast, and he's got a great arm. I mean, there's no one, like, I'm looking, I'm like, maybe Justin Herbert, that might be your best comparison, really. But, yeah, they're not going to face anyone like Josh Allen. And then Christmas Eve against the Dolphins. Just because usually (laughs) the Cowboys like to ruin at least one of my holidays. It's either my birthday or Christmas. I think the Cowboys are going to lose this game. I don't think they really got anyone that can match up with Tyreek Hill speed-wise. And even if they have a safety to help in man coverage, that's just going to leave someone else open because you got Jalen Waddell. And I think Tua, he showed last year that he can be a great quarterback. And as long as he stays healthy, he can show that again this year. So that's why I think 
that the Cowboys are going to lose in week 16. So a two game skid very close to the end of the season. Now, do they make up for it on Monday night football against the Detroit Lions? The Cowboys get to play on Monday night football twice this year. I think they do. This is another game I think is going to be really entertaining just because the Lions are going to be greatly improved. I mean, they have steadily gotten better since they hired Dan Campbell as head coach. And I think this might be a breakthrough year for the Lions. And heck, by this point in the season, they'll probably be playing for playoff seeding. But the Cowboys, this is one of those games they're going to have to win if they want to be taken seriously in the playoffs. So I think Mike McCarthy, you know, he has a good history against the Lions. He's going to have the Cowboys prepared for this game, and they're going to win. It's going to be a close one, though. It's going to be like 24-21. Week 18 against the Commanders. Hopefully this game doesn't matter, but if it does, I'm picking Cowboys to win. Hopefully it's not like how this past season was where Dude, that was the worst game I ever saw Dak Prescott play was the season finale this past year against Washington. And you also got to see how sorry Ezekiel Elliott was and the offensive line was. I mean, that game really kind of exposed you to what they were going to look like in the playoffs. And, you know, they looked phenomenal in that first game, but Tampa Bay sucked, you know, and then they played a good team and, San Francisco and look what happened. They looked pretty similar to how they looked in the game against Washington. So those are my thoughts. I think with the wins and losses, I have the Cowboys going 11 and six. That's either good enough to win the NFC East or good enough to get a wild card. I believe. I mean, if you win 11 games and don't make the wild card, it's freaking gut wrenching. Cause I mean, 11 wins should be automatic, you know, but we've seen it in the past. Look at the Dolphins, and then there's another team that they went 11 and 5 and didn't make the playoffs. But with this, you got two teams that are a threat in the NFC West, and then the other two divisions, the North and the South, you really only got one team that's a threat. So I think the Cowboys definitely have a shot at the wild card this year. And, you know, I'm also going to give the Giants credit. I think they got a shot at the wild card as well. You could easily see three of the four teams from the NFC East in the playoffs again like you did last year, which makes it highly likely that one of them is going to play the other in the playoffs like we had last year with the Giants and Eagles. But those are my thoughts. Let me see your guys' predictions in the comment below. Um Hopefully it's not the troll comments that I was getting earlier where it's like, oh, the Cowboys are going to go 0-17 and I'll suck my fucking dick. It's not going to happen. But let me know what you guys think. Trainwreck Podcast, episode 12, it'll be out next week. We had episode 11 drop the other day on Wednesday. Me and Drew told the story of how we almost died on a remodel. It's an hour-long story, very entertaining. Go check it out. And tomorrow I'll have a Madden short up of a fat guy touchdown. So hope everyone likes it and have a good night.